Know what I like about Ranger 7? The peace and quiet. <laughs> Quiet, try boring. A lifeless moon ain't fun, kid? Come on! <laughs> Just look at all the, uh, rocks. <laughs> Indeed. Each is a geological wonder just waiting to be converted into much-needed robot fuel. Huh? I believe the point Gibson is trying to make is that we can find excitement anywhere, even somewhere uninhabited. If this place is uninhabited, what is that? of the city, I discovered an abandoned super robot. It was then my life was transformed by the mysterious power of Prime. The robot monkeys were awakened, and I, Shiro, made their leader. Our quest, save Shigazoom City from the evils of the Skeleton King. Super Robot Monkey Team Hyper Force Go! Fighting any evils they are Shigazoom's home! Super Robot Monkey Team That creature could be dangerous. It's okay, little guy. We're not gonna hurt you. <laughs> He's, <laughs> He's friendly. Hey, you know what I'm thinking? Oh no, we are not bringing that thing into the super robot. <laughs> it is kind of cute. <laughs> Probably won't eat much, and you gotta love slobber. <laughs> Come on, the furball won't take up much space. And this will only be temporary. Sure, Ranger 7's uninhabited, so the little thingy must be lost. So soon as we find his home, we'll return him. Just keep it away from me. <laughs> and give it a bath. chemicals. Oh, no. <laughs> Come on, Gibson. It was an accident. I'm not so sure. According to my ongoing analysis, that creature is a new monster species. It's already damaged our computer cables and clogged the ventilation system with its filthy hair. It could be trying to destroy us. What? Thingy is harmless, aren't you, Thingy? Thingy! 
harmless? Hmm. I'll find out for certain. As you can see, the weapons reflex trainer is designed to keep us on our toes. Or off them, as the case may be. So, who wants to... Me first! This is gonna be way too easy. So, got anything a little more challenging? <gasps> Something tells me this isn't part of the training exercise. Phase and day. Anybody seen Thingy? Uh. <laughs> Monkey Team, I've just made a startling discovery. And it's related to that Thingy. Warning, airlock breach. Huh? Well, what's going on? Outer door opening. You may be pulled into outer space and your doom. <laughs> Board. Let's turn it around, team! Roger, Chiro. We're closing on his position. Huh? We've lost the foot thrusters! Propulsion power is gone! Antari, engage tractor beam! <sighs> Sorry, Chiro. It appears someone has had a busy day. He's drifting out of range! Sparks, can you grab him? Of course I can grab him. I hope I can grab him. Got him. Just a bump on the head. He'll be okay. Unfortunately, I cannot say the same for the robot. We have multiple system failures. We are not going anywhere for now. I should have listened to Gibson. Come on, little thingy. Get in there now. Come on. Sorry, Chiro. We gotta. After Gibson... Corner! <laughs> Got you now. This is where Gibson would say, I told you so. Monkey team, prepare to attack. Wait, I, I think he's just afraid. Thingy, it's me, Chiro. Much better. I'm afraid we still must quarantine Thingy, Chiro. The creature is more of a threat than we imagined. <laughs> Stop! Thingy is not the threat after all. One of you has been sabotaging the robot. Gibson must have hit his head harder than we thought. I was trying to explain before I was pulled from the airlock. A flake of what appears to be ordinary dandruff, courtesy of Thingy, in reality is a static virus designed to attack machines. Courtesy of Skeleton King. 
who infected your little friend and left him at our refueling stop, anticipating we would adopt him. at least one robot monkey has the virus and is now under Skeleton King's control. So how come you're not all infected? I haven't completed my full analysis. However, we can find out which one of us is. Pre-test complete. The robot's computer will now scan us. Should have realized whoever has the virus would sabotage the test. Yeah! And it's probably the same one who tried to get rid of me in the training room. And the one who cut the robot's thruster power stranding us here. This is messed up. Don't do it, Sparks. Enough! Accusing each other will solve nothing. Antari is right. We need to calm down. Gibson? Fix the computer so we can finish the test. Everyone else is confined to their rooms. What if Gibson has the virus? He's been acting awfully innocent. Gibson's the only one who can get the test ready. And I'll be here, watching him. Yes, listen to the boy. Listen to the boy? That sounds like something... Skeleton King would say. Ah! You were right, Sparks. It is me. I've got the virus. <laughs> and I must finish my mission. The destruction of Sugarzoom City! <laughs> And come on, let us out. We'll find a way to cure you. Oh no, a cure is simply out of the question. There is far too much work to be done. Hey, one deranged monkey is not gonna destroy Sugarzoom. Oh, but I am not alone. I wasn't the only one infected by this disgusting creature. <coughs> there, now, thingy. No need for any sudden transformations. We are all friends here. Thingy, run! <laughs> no matter. I'll catch it eventually. So which one of us is infected? You all should be. But somehow you've become immune to the virus. I'll have to dissect you later to learn why. As to who is infected, isn't it obvious? The most powerful machine among us. The Super Robot! sabotaging itself as it came under the influence of the virus. And now the infection is complete. Get 
Gibson. Ah, I should have eliminated that beast when I had the chance. The robot will deal with you now. Thingy! No! Yep, and I think it's time you gave it a try, Gibson. <laughs> Team, I have great news. I've located Thingy's home planet. He can go home. Oh, he just got here. If I recall correctly, his visit was always temporary. Anybody else notice Gibson's acting sort of evil? Uh-oh. He's got the virus again. I do not. And there is only one cure. Get him, Thingy! Stop! Ah, you! Yeah. 